Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn three awesome, groovy, melodic, fast and fun legato licks. And um, the interesting thing here, in case you don't know what legato means, um, is that there is minimum picking, okay? Minimum picking, and you use uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs creatively, as well as slides, to create a fluid flavor. Okay, to add a fluid flavor to your lines. So the first legato line is an extended blues line and it goes like this. Okay? So when you play it slowly, you see that there are many hammer-ons, pull-offs, and slides. So you start with 5-5-7 five, five, on strings 1, 2, and 3. Okay? To create that suspended fourth uh, crystalline sound. And okay, this is the first legato trick. You play 7 hammer-on to 8, pull off to 7 on the 3rd string. And then immediately you slide to 8 and slide down back to 7. So you have 7-8-7-8-7, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, okay? 5 notes, 7 hammer-on to 8, pull off to 7, slide to 8, slide to 7. Neat, right? And then you pull off to five and you play seven on the fourth string. Now, the cool thing about legato is that you don't really have to, um, to pick the fourth string. You can hammer on the seven right there. Okay, you can do... No picking required. You can just hammer on on the fourth string. Right? But I like the, the picking sound. And then you have 5-7 on the third string again. Okay, you hammer on. And then you pull off to 5 and you immediately slide to 7. This is a really useful legato technique. Okay? Five hammer on to seven, pull off to five, and immediately slide to seven. Okay, it's not this. Okay, you slide immediately, immediately, so you can get the same note twice. And then, after you linger on the 7th fret of the 3rd string, you can slide back down to 5. Okay? That's the ending of the line. So the whole line... Cool, right? So, um... Now we're going to learn the second lick, which is a straight up scale lick, but I would like to remind you about the guitar giveaway that I'm holding this summer, okay? because I just launched my new course program. Okay, My new course program, you can go to lickandref.com slash courses and check it out. You get instant access to all my courses, ear training, theory unlocked, finger style technique toolbox, arrangement training, rhythm mastery, rhythm guitar superstar, Travis picking secrets, intuitive composition, ear training boot camp, okay, and a lot more. And I'm releasing a new course every single month, okay, every single month a new course. And at the end of the summer, one new member of the course program is going to win a Journey Instruments Puddle Jumper. Okay, which is a terrific, terrific acoustic guitar. So go check it out at lickandref.com slash courses. So the second lick 
is a straight up scale lick. Now, if you play it slowly, it sounds a little bit weird, but if you speed it up, you get a really unusual guitar lick. Okay. This is a really cool lick. Now, don't mind my twangy chicken picking technique. Okay, you can also play this with a pick. You don't need your fingers to play this. So... Right? So, this uh, line actually has an interesting rhythmical pattern inside it because it's um, it's odd numbered. Now what's going on here is actually really really simple. It's five hammer on to seven pull off to five on the third string again and then you slide to four. And when you're on four you hammer on to five pull off to four and slide back to five. And then you do it again. You play five, hammer on to seven, pull off to five. And then you hammer on to seven and bend it. And then you end up on five on the second string, which is the same bent note. So you bend up to it and then play it again. Now, the whole line, once again, it's hammer on, pull off, slide, hammer on, pull off, slide, hammer on, pull off. It's the same thing three times. And at the end, you hammer on an extra seven on the third string, you bend it, and you play the five on the second string. Now, the beautiful thing about legato licks is that even if you slur them a little bit, it really doesn't matter because at such high speeds, the listener can actually understand what you intend to play, even if you miss a note, even if you slur a slide, even if you slur a hammer-on and a pull-off, okay? So don't worry about perfection. Um, because the whole idea of legato playing is to um, mix all the notes. It's to blend everything together and mix it into just one fluid motion. So don't worry about utmost perfection of execution here. Now, the third legato lick that I want to show you is a really ingenious fingering for chromatic lines, which um, who else but Greg Howe came up with. So it goes like this. You can also play it upwards. Yeah, and so on and so forth. And again, it really doesn't matter if you hear two notes playing together at a time because it's so fast that the ear doesn't catch up and it's meant to mix anyway. So sometimes you'll play it perfectly, sometimes you won't. But even uh, if, if you put distortion on, um, these lines work tremendously well because the distortion also kind of hides uh, your little imperfection uh, when you slur a note. So the line goes like this, okay? It's 10, pull off to 9, pull off to 8 on the 3rd string. And you immediately hammer on 11 on the 3rd string. And then you take the note on the 2nd string and you slide it down 1 fret. And again, you hammer on 3 frets above on the 3rd string. So that's the pattern. Okay, so it's 8, slide to 7 on the 2nd string, hammer on to 10 on the 3rd. And then you do it again, okay, to six, and a hammer on to nine on the third string. And then you slide to five on the second string. That's this line. But you can use this chromatic line anywhere in your soloing. Okay, and again, you can use it upward. Okay, it's, it's really nice. 
Yeah. Um, once you get used to this, this hammer on the third string with your little finger, um, it just opens up your entire chromatic plane. So um, those are three awesome legato lines that um, can just open up your plane. And I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out liquidref.com slash courses and join the course program. There are over 12 courses waiting for you. And again, a new one released every month. So join me and uh, I'll see you in the next live session. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.